what's kind of your takeaways, you know, after, you know, the next morning? Oh, I think we left some points on the board. Uh, we got a, could have got some, some, yeah, some defensive first down, but we got away. Uh, missed boss out by me and the missed boss out by me. And um, I think overall, our, our team competed. We played together. Uh, we gave our ch ourself, uh, ourselves a chance to win, and uh, we went out there and left it all out there. Take me through that uh, that box out you're talking about with Draymond Green. I mean, obviously it's a rare mess uh, miss from Steph, but did he kind of push you a little bit under and just use his physicality? Uh, I think he did. Uh, he definitely used physicality. Just he just made a winning play. He made a winning play, and of course, those guys have been together for so long and they know how to win. And, um, of course, it was just a missed box out. What was that night like for you going up against a guy like KT, who you have a great uh, KD, who you have a great relationship with? But to have a night like that, especially offensively, uh, it was great. It was great for me. Of course, um, my teammates found me an open area where I could operate. Uh, they trusted me to make the right play and um, kind of try to put this stuff like that away uh, and just go out there and just compete against every guy on the floor. You know, we talk a lot about uh, the growth of this team, but how frustrating is it for you just on a personal level and for the team that, that you guys are coming close in, in a lot of these games, but coming up on the, on the losing end? Um, it's frustrating because I think every every guy in here wants to win and uh, every guy out here is a competitor. But uh, if you look at the bigger pictures, definitely growth from every single game. We get better every single game. and. Uh, we're all young guys, and going through this process right now is going to make us better, bigger and better in the future. Take me through that last play of regulation. You had the ball in your hands, what you wanted, and, and, and looks like you had a look at it, right? Yeah, I did. Uh, just trying to get to the basket, trying to be aggressive, make a play to the rim. I think uh, in those situations like that, um, I don't think the referee is looking for a foul much in a situation <laughs> like that. So I think I could have did a better job of serving myself. Maybe on a pull up jumper or uh, just getting a clear shot. Brandon, um, before, early in the season, Luke was saying that he felt like, you know, because of all the work you put in in the off season and all the growth you had, that he thought maybe you were trying a little too hard to show everybody everything that you know you had improved on. And I'm wondering if you feel like, if, first of all, if you agreed that you were doing that a little early on, and if you feel like you've gotten past that and are being a little more natural. Uh, I think early on in the season, I. Uh, wasn't playing. I haven't played five on five. I haven't played uh, regulation basketball, and the work that I put in it's a lot of individual work and things that I'm trying to translate to the basketball game. But uh, slowly but surely, I'm uh, trying to simulate that in games now and uh, trying to do what works. Whether it's getting to the rim, whether it's being confident in my pull-up jumper. Um, Getting to the free throw line. I think uh, just trying to assert myself on offense and defense. Did you feel at all like you were pressing to show how much you had improved early? Um, I think as a basketball player, and every guy during the summer has put a lot of work in. Uh, I just felt comfortable going out there and putting up the shots that I wanted to shoot. I was uh, confident in the shots that I wanted to shoot, get to the basket, uh, whether it was three-pointers, whether it was the mid-range game. I was just confident in everything I was doing. What's the process like in translating all the work that you did over the summer into real games? Um, just try to find a way where you can be assertive and be aggressive in different times. I think um, just basically the, the best way to, and the best shot for, for my team. So whether that's getting to the rim and kicking it out, getting to the rim and trying to finish, um, just everything that I can do to get the best shot for the team. When you're sizing a guy up to drive on him, what are some of the things that you look for and how he's defending you, uh, and how can you take advantage of those things? Uh, I'll just try to see how far he's playing off me. Um, what advantages I have over the defender, and if I can get to the rim, if I feel like I can use my length over the second defender, uh, then I can get to the rim. I always try to, I try to tell myself that I know I'm going to get past the first defender, but what am I, what am I going to do to the second defender to try to finish? What was the back and forth like last night with you and Kevin? Uh, I was just very competitive. I think I lost myself into the game a little bit, and just trying to compete and uh, just. I think that just the competitive nature came out when uh, we were scoring and just trying to just trying to get to the rim or just try to get to the mid range. Was there something about knowing that you were kind of lost in that matchup that maybe lets you have you know the best game of your career? 
Yeah, and I think that's some of my best games when I just have a clear head, just uh, getting lost in the game and trying to get the defensive stop, try to get to make the right off offensive possession. So uh, when you're lost in the game like that and have a clear head, you don't think about anything. Did you ever feel like you kind of got into his head a little bit? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I think, like I said, my teammates found me in open spots, so I just try to get to the basket as best I could. I think um, I was just a very aggressive to the rim, and I didn't, I, I didn't think anyone could stop me going to the rim. Yeah, how important is it to, for you to establish your jump shot early to open up the rest of your game? Uh, I think by me driving to the basket, it's going to open up my jump, okay. jump shot. Um, seeing guys play off me a little bit more, I think it just gives me confidence to come in here every single day and try to work on that and just try to see if um, I can establish a way for them to make me get easier baskets to the rim. Given what you've shown the, the last couple of weeks, do you see defenses reacting to you differently or just scheming differently against you? Yeah, I've seen um, defenses go way under me on, on screens and uh, just trying to meet me at the rim and have different schemes for me. But, uh, it's all in the game plan, you know, always got to be ready for whatever comes out.